Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Donna. No. Yes. Today is Halloween. Happy Halloween. And today we're going to do a muck a muck a muck bang. So in today's video, we're going to be answering some of your questions as well as tasting some villains cereal. And getting the little mini Funkos that are in the cereal boxes. Yes, too. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. have been enjoying all of our vlogoween videos um, and all of our collections. I think the only collection we didn't do are our plush and our t-shirts, which I don't think that's ever going to happen because we have a lot of t-shirts that are Disney. We got way too many shirts. <laughs> yes, yeah. but if you missed any, we did mugs, we did your pins, my pins, our pins, Funko Pops, ears, hats, Oh gosh, we did so many. So um, definitely go check out those videos if you missed it. Um, so thank you guys so much. And if there's any other collections that you think we might have, oh, our bags. We totally forgot our bags. We did our bags. Um, but if there's anything else you guys want to see, let us know. We just thought that October was very special, marking our one year anniversary on YouTube, and really a year since we really started collecting Disney stuff. We thought it would be fun to do all of our collections. I've been your favorite Donna for a year, y'all. I've been your favorite dog for a long time. All right, so let's actually start with a question. Other than Disney YouTubers, what other channels do you like to watch? So for me, I watch a lot of YouTube. That's pretty much all I watch nowadays. A couple of my favorites are Ms. Mojo. Uh-huh, so I like does, that one too. Yeah, she does a lot of um, really cool lists and just informational type stuff on TV shows and games and Disney and just all kinds of stuff that's really fun. Two peas in a pop. pop. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it either. Um, but we absolutely love that channel. They are, I think, our, our favorite Funko Pop channel. And they are so fun and so random. And we have to watch like every single second of their videos. And I also really love Lauren Lipman. She's a pop culture channel. She mainly focuses on Taylor Swift, which I'm not a huge fan of Taylor Swift. But I've, I'm becoming more of a fan because of Lauren Lipman and, and her fandom, I guess, to Taylor. So that's a really fun channel. I look forward to watching her Taylor Swift Tuesdays every Tuesday. And I watch one is Princess Craft RV. It's about, it just shows you the inside and the outside of different recreational vehicles because one day I am going to own an RV and I'm going to go camping in it. All by herself. She ain't going with me. No. I watch Jeep stuff. Yeah, she does watch a lot of Jeep stuff. Um, and I've also gotten really into um, Creep Catchers, which is a local channel here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area um, that they catch child predators online and set up stings. And they, they work for themselves. They don't work for the police or anything. But that's really interesting. I've gotten really into those videos lately and then seeing other channels from other parts of the country as well. So it's just... Good to be informed of what's <laughs> going on. I mean, we, I don't have kids that are, you know, would be affected, but right. it's just interesting to know as my nieces and nephews are getting older, um, just things to look out for. So, so we have Hades, Oogie Boogie, Maleficent, and Ursula, and they are all different colors. So I'm assuming all different flavors. So, which one do you think we should try first? Go ahead, Telly, shout it out. I'll hear you. <laughs> I give you a minute. Okay, what they say? Did you hear them? What they say? I think they said Hades. You think they said Hades? I think so. All right, Hades it is. The one person out there who said Hades, I heard you. <laughs> All right. Oh, and we're going to be doing our muck a muck a muck bang out of our haunted mansion Funko Pop bowls with our special haunted mansion Funko Pop spoons. Oh, Hades, he's so cool. He's a Itty bitty mini. Itty bitty mini. He is a itty bitty mini. Very itty bitty mini. All right. It's blue. All right. Are you ready to try some Hades? I'm a little nervous. It's blue. Not my favorite. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, not my favorite. Maybe the second 
they were different. Mm. It's not bad. It's not great. So, I think the first initial bite is a little shocking, but there's, it's not bad. I don't think there's an actual flavor to it. Um, it's very, it's very generic. I got blue tongue and just two bites. I'm gonna take my last bite. Okay. All right, have you ever made a video and not published it? I don't know. One. So it was back in January. We got the, we got a Loot Crate box that was advertised to be friends related. Oh yeah, remember yeah, yeah, box? I remember. So we sat down and we recorded it and we were very, we didn't know what to think because there was one friend's item and it was a pair of socks with the turkey on it. That was and it. That was it. So wasn't very friend friendly. No. So we we did record it, and the whole time, like the looks on our faces was was very confused, and we just didn't like how it turned out, and the box wasn't as advertised, so we actually scrapped it. So only one have we ever recorded a video and not published it. All right. Question number three: How long have we been together, and are we married? That's two questions in one. It is. No, we're not married. She won't marry me. I will not. <laughs> Go figure, y'all. <laughs> no, we're not married. And we've been together in 17 days. It'll be 17 years. Wow. Our anniversary is November 17th, and it'll be 17 years that we've been together. So, you've been putting up with me for a long time. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Maleficent next. All right. Maleficent. She's black or is she green? Ooh, she black. We got some black cereal. I've never had black cereal. So here we have Maleficent. Pretty detailed for an itty bitty mini. Looks the same as Hades, only this one's black. Wonder if it's gonna taste the same. I don't know. I remember seeing um, a channel um, they tried the the green Power Ranger um, green seal that came out for Emerald City Comic Con this year, and they tasted it, him and his girlfriend, and they liked it, and they said it was sour apple flavored. Hmm. So, what do you, what flavor do you think Black Maleficent cereal is gonna be? What does evil taste like? <laughs> It's got a little bitty hint of a flavor that reminds me of Juicy Fruit. For me, it tastes like apple. Not the um, fruit, but more of like the candied flavored apple, like artificial hmm. apple. Reminds me of Now and Laters. Okay. That's what right. it reminds me of. But, I don't know, the texture is not that different than the Hades. It's not a great texture. Not a great taste. There's just a hint of a taste in this one. I do like this one better than Hades. I'll All say right that. then. Not bad, but when when can you say? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us leaned in. Um, what, when can you say you've had black cereal? That's just it's weird, but it was actually not that bad. Next question: What TV shows do you like, current and canceled? For my top three favorites of older shows or no longer airing shows. Canceled. Well, ended shows. No, none of them were canceled. They all ended. Oh, okay. Um, Friends, Big Bang Theory, I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy might have been canceled, but those are my three all-time favorite shows. I could watch any of them, anytime, no, starting anywhere in the series. I love them. Current, I would say Anything by Shonda Rhimes. Um, been a long time Grey's fan. Um, How to Get Away with Murder, it's in their last season. Um, 911. That's a good one. That's an intense show, and I'm surprised it's not Shonda Rhimes. Um, yeah. But it's, it's an awesome show. Um, this is us. We love that show. Absolutely. We watch a lot. A lot of different stuff. Yeah, we do. What else do you like? Um, American Housewife. That's funny. That's very funny. We <laughs> love that show. <laughs> Reminds me of my daughter-in-law, whose name is Katie. Yeah, her name is Katie. <laughs> so, and the main character on the show, her name is Katie. So, it's it's a really funny show. Oh, right now we actually 
what just ended is Halloween Wars that we watch oh, every yeah. year. Love Halloween Wars. We also watch the Halloween Baking Championship. Yeah. Um, that just ended as well. Because it takes her love of baking and my love of Halloween and puts it together. And it's here to watch. Oh, a lot of reality competition shows. Love American Ninja Warrior. That's like one of my top oh, favorites. Yeah. America's Got Talent. Um, kind of fallen off the So You Think You Can Dance wagon. Um, but love World of Dance. Uh, we also, we're currently watching The Voice because hello, Kelly Clarkson. She's a must. Oh yeah, and our daytime shows that record and we watch when we get home is the, the Kelly Clarkson, Clarkson show, show, Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. DeGeneres. <laughs> that helps. It helps. <laughs> oh, the Michael, Strahan, Sarah, and Kiki. Yes. Michael, Sarah, and Kiki. Or Strahan, Sarah, and Kiki. Love that show. So what type of movies do you like? I am a sucker for um, romantic comedies. Uh, that's usually my favorite genre. So like when I'm home alone, usually when I'm working from home on Wednesdays and I want to put on a movie, it's almost always like the same like five movies that I choose from. Um, but yeah, I like, I like romantic comedies. Disney movies. Oh, of course Disney. Of course Disney. I used to watch a lot of horror movies. I don't have it for the last 17 years. We just watched a scary movie today. Um, thank you. Scream 1, Scream 2, and Scream 3 do not count as horror movies because they are rom they're comedies. They're comedies. No. Scream 1, Scream 2, and Scream 3 are comedies. And we actually just watched Scream 1 in August, Scream 2 in September, and just today watched Scream 3. But, they're comedies. Okay, boogie! Okay, Ooh! Okay. Glows in the dark. His figure glows in the dark. Cool. Alright. Awesome! Um, so I'm excited about this one. Now they do also have Corella DeVille cereal, which is white and Evil Queen cereal, but I can't find them at any spirit location anywhere. So. And we have oh. a 10 inch Oogie Boogie, right and then we have a itty bitty Oogie Boogie. What does that one smell like? It smells like a, like a ream of paper. <laughs> Is that normal? Do you smell paper? Yeah, smells like paper. I like the fun colors of these. That's really cool. So far, the taste hasn't been that great. No, but it hasn't been horrible. From what people, like, seeing people react to these and try these, they've been, like, can't even swallow it. Hmm. So, well, it's no Count Chocula, or Frankenberry, or Boo Berry, Banana Pudding. Ooh, the s'mores. Yeah. Cotton Those candy, taste candy, a lot better than these. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just more fruity with this one. There's a stronger flavor with this mm -hmm. one. So far, Oogie Boogie is my favorite. Yeah, that one is, has more of a flavor. Mm -hmm. What I'm noticing on each of these is there's like a, a really thin coating that I don't like. Um, it tastes weird whenever you bite into it before you actually get to the flavor of the cereal. It's almost like it's in a protective little coat that you have to break before you can get the, I don't know, I don't know, but the, the milk and the little cereal it's almost very slippery in your mouth until mm -hmm. you bite into it. So yeah. I'm not a fan of that. What do you do for a living? So I'm kind of in between positions right now, but I work for a rebate company. So we handle all of their program rebates. Um, for example, your cell phone company, you may see a, an advertisement that says, hey, if you buy this phone, we'll give you $50 or we'll give you $100 for upgrading or whatever the case is. We manage that rebate program to get you the, the offer. So a lot of clients. Um, I'm, I'm current. I, I work for that company. So, but I am in between positions right now. I work for a small credit union here in North Texas, mm -hmm. and I work in the branch. And I'm a my title is senior personal financial assistant. So which is scary. What? Cause I got numbers. calculators. It's good. I got calculators. If you could go anywhere on vacation, where would you go? Where well, would you go? First thing that pops back into my head is Disney World, because uh, duh. But I think I'd also like to go to Disneyland. Yes. I personally would go to New York. Um, and it's because we've never, she's never been to New York. I mean, no, I flew into the airport and had a layover at the airport. So she's so. she's never been to New York. 
Um, and I would love to take her. It's like, it's my favorite place in the world. I would love to show it to her and why I love it so much. Um, I've been twice and it's, it's amazing. And I would love to experience that with her. So I would want to go on vacation together to New York. Okay. Or Disney. Do you like to read? If so, what are your favorite type of books or authors? I used to read a lot. Um, I've read all the Stephen Kings. Patricia Cornwell. I really enjoyed uh, all of her books. And there's a couple of new ones out that I haven't read yet. But those are really cool. Uh, so I, I, like, I like scary or murder mystery. So I'm not a big reader. Um, I did read all the Harry Potter books growing up. Um, but because I am so not a reader, it's not something I enjoy doing. Um, I think it was a couple of years ago. Um, I want to say 2016. Uh, yeah, around there, I challenged myself to read one book, uh, per month for an entire year. It's like my new year's resolution. And I ended up reading like 25 books over a span of like four months um, during the summer. And I was constantly reading, went through a lot of books that I really enjoyed. And then I just kind of got out of the habit. But there are some books that we do have that I do want to read, uh, but I just haven't, I haven't done it. YouTube has kind of taken over my free time and watching all different kinds of channels, not just Disney. My favorite type, I think, is really autobiographies. Or is it biographies? The ones where you write your own book about yourself, which one is that one called? Biography. I really like biographies. Oh, yeah. um, no, autobiography. I really like autobiographies. <laughs> you don't even know. Um, but I enjoy, like, the Tiffany Haddish, her book, um, The Last Black Unicorn, um, all of Ellen's books, uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen's were really autobiographies. Well, okay, though. no, that's true. She wrote it as, like, her, it was a book about nothing, but it's so funny. Portia's book, um, Unbearable Lightness. Um, I've read a couple of actual celebrity books. Lauren that I Graham. Really like. You really like the Lauren Graham book. The Lauren Graham book that she wrote. Yes, that she wrote about herself because she has also written like fiction, um, but I haven't read those. I have read her book that she wrote about her life. Very, very cool. I really find myself going towards those type of books. She don't like to get scared. No. I don't know. Books scare her. Tiffany Haddish's story was kind of scary. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was a little, a little scary. Okay, so let's do our last cereal, which I hope we're saving the best for last, because it's Ursula. Come on, Michael. Stop it. Thank you for the <laughs> So here is the itty bitty Ursula. Lots of detail on the tentacles up underneath and behind. Really, really cool. All right, I got my itty bitty Funko Pops. Itty bitty minis. Itty bitty minis. I don't know if they're a pocket pop technically. They're not a mini. Oh, it does say, it says <laughs> pocket pop. <laughs> right there on all of them. Yeah, but my bad. itty bitty mini just sounds funnier. It is, does sound funny. Especially since we have the 10 inch Ursula and a 10 inch Oogie Boogie putting them next to each other. Yeah, that's okay. gonna be funny. Anyways, we're easily amused. Farewell. All right, purple. Show me what you got. There's a hint of some sort of fruity flavor. These are very subtle tasting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's not, I, I don't like that. I want to, I want to taste it. I think Oogie Boogie was my favorite. Yeah. I think Oogie Boogie followed by Maleficent, then Ursula, then Hades. That's my order. I mean, it, was, it wasn't bad. Uh, we really, like I said, just really wanted the figures for them. and Maybe like, the boxes. May, these boxes look really cool, so we may do something really cool with those. Questions. What have we got? What part of Texas are you from? Northern Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And I've been in the D DFW area. D D D D D D DFW area my entire life. Um, I spent the first nine years in San Antonio, and from nine years old until now, it's all been in this Metroplex as well. What is your favorite memory together? 
All right, you're going first on this one. <sighs> so many. <laughs> 17, almost, almost 17 years of memories. I would probably pinpoint it to the best day of my life. And no, it was not the day I met you. It should have been. No, <laughs> but the best day of my life was my 24th birthday. We were in Los Angeles and we went to go see the Ellen DeGeneres show, Madonna in concert. And so we took a tour of the Warner Brothers lot that Ellen is on, her stage is on, and we saw the set of Central Perk from Friends. That was cool. And we both touched the couch. She beat a little. I did not! <laughs> no, I did not. Don't be telling mom. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I think that was, that whole trip, I mean, it was a week-long trip, but the Friends and Ellen happened on my actual birthday. Mm -hmm. And you were We also me. went to a Harry Potter exhibit there, too. We did. So yeah, they had the whole section of Harry Potter. I totally forgot about that. We took our picture in front of a green screen. That was the Hogwarts Express. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. But yeah, I think that whole day uh, was is my favorite memory. Because you were there with me. We experienced it together. And we both love Friends. We both love Harry Potter. We both love Ellen. That She was like an a, a, a magical addition to that trip. Because the purpose of the trip was Madonna. Um, and then we just planned a whole week's vacation around it. So. Yeah. So it was really cool. Yeah. What about you? I think mine is going to be a little bit more recent. One of my favorite memories is the day that we found this house. Because someone who is not impulsive at all. I mean, not impulsive at all. <laughs> no, it's like I'm so not impulsive that when someone asks me to be spontaneous, I ask them, can I think about being spontaneous? Like, <laughs> let me think about it for a little bit. Anyways. So okay. yeah, um, but we had, it took me a long time to talk her into selling our first house, which has now burned down. Yeah. It got struck by lightning earlier this summer. We made a pretty <laughs> decent profit when we sold our first house yeah. and then we lived Texas tiny for a, about a year and a year and a half, year and a half. And yep. we were saving up and actually her plan because she plans everything out was that we were going to live Texas Tiny for two years. So I could pay off my student loans. So. Because everything else was paid off. Like yeah. Brand new cars, the home we were living in, no debt at all except for my student loans. Right. That was so, the plan. So she said, okay, so now it's about six months until we're going to buy a house. So let's just start looking. Casually. Casually. Very casual. Was her plan. To very casually I have to plan looking. to be casual, you guys. It's a problem. She s saw some open houses that were going to be in the area of some houses that she wanted to go look at. We took one of our nieces and one of our nephews because they're weird kids, y'all. They love to go to open houses. And you know what? It's free for us, so take them along. Have a full day of fun. And they love it. Give the parents a break. So, yeah. so Good for everybody. We get to this one house, and I, I, I like the backyard. Yeah, backyard was nice, but the inside was very 90s. The realtor at that open house, nobody else was there, so she got to talking to us, and I told her that I had been looking at this house on one of the real estate apps. Zillow. Zillow. Zillow yeah. I'd looked at it several, several times. I'd showed the pictures to her, and we were kind of arguing back and forth because I told her that I thought this house was three stories. And I was like, there's no way. How, how do you figure that's a three-story house? So, um, we mentioned this house that I had been looking at, and she said, if I can get you a tour of that house tonight, this afternoon, whenever when I'm I get done, done here, with this house. will you meet me there? And I was like, yes. of course. And while yeah. we're eating lunch, the realtor gives us a call and says, okay, I... I'll meet you there at 6 o'clock. All right. And we're All like, right. Okay, okay, cool. We meet her here at this house, and remember... Not impulsive at all, right? We tour the house with the kids. It is a three-story house, as you may have heard from some of our videos. And it's a full three stories. Like, yeah. The third story alone is over a thousand square feet with a full bathroom up there. Yeah, it's, a full it's bathroom. It's not like a little portion of the attic was no. converted. The entire attic is converted. The entire attic had been converted. Of course, we're here with the niece and nephew. And I was like, okay, so if, 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 the, if the aunties buy this house, this room up here would be the kid cave. And they're like, 
For us? What? And I said, yeah. We would get a bunch of toys and crap up here, and this would just be y'all's floor. And, of course, the kids are in it. They're yes, like, get yes. It, get it, get it, get it. By the time we finished the tour of this house, all four of us gathered in the kitchen. We actually put in an offer before we finished the tour. Yeah. And, and after we put in the offer, then we toured it inch again. for inch yeah. again before we left. But And within 30 days, we were we moved, moved in. in. It was a very short um, closing. Yes. So. so I think that is one of my favorite memories because it was totally out of character for this one. Wow, you like it when I'm out of character, huh? But it turned <laughs> out so awesome. It's amazing, but yeah. didn't go as planned, but sometimes the best things don't. See, there you I go. I know this. Life is what happens when you're making plans. We did not just quote some philosophical weekly thingy to me. <laughs> All right, last question, y'all. Oh, okay. What breed are your dogs and how old are they? Do you want more pets? No. no. After these, no. we're done. We are. Um, so we have five dogs, and we have done videos on them um, earlier this year. We introduced every single dog and talked about them, but we did not tell them tell tell you guys what breeds they are. So we have a full blooded Weimaraner. That's Tess. That's and Tess. She's she our big is. Girl. She is ten. Ten. Then we have. Um, Bailey. She is a Yorkie, Yorkie poo. poo. She's black. She's she our is, baby. She's our baby. She just turned nine. She just turned nine. She was born in 2010. Then we have Buddy. He was our firstborn. He is half schnauzer, half poodle, so he's a schnoodle. Schnoodle! Um, That's and, just fun to say. And we've had him since he was six weeks old. He is ten. Then we have Fancy and Chloe. Which um, are buddies, mom, and sister. Bio mom and bio sister. Bio mom and sister. So uh, we took them in for my grandparents um, a couple of years ago. Um, and Chloe and Fancy... Um, Fancy's, if Buddy's 10, Fancy's 11. At least. I think she's more like 12 and Chloe's like 13, 14. And I honestly don't know how don't know. old Chloe is. No, but they are the two oldest. Um, Fancy, the sister, is also half poodle, half schnauzer. Um, just like Buddy, they're full-blooded brother and sister. And then Chloe, is she the, the toy poodle? She's a toy, toy poodle. poodle. She probably weighs three pounds if, soaking wet Yeah, she's, when she's overgrown with her fur. She's tiny. She's very tiny. Uh, we don't want more. Um, after that, I don't... It's getting to that point where I get nervous because um, I know they're not going to be around forever and I don't want to put myself through that. But I know I'm going to have to go through it at least five times because we have five dogs. But I also like the freedom of yeah. traveling. So anytime we go anywhere, now that there's five of them, it costs an arm and a leg to board them. So we don't. We have to have someone, my mom, <laughs> uh, come and house sit and puppy sit while we go travel. And that's a pain. And luckily, my mom works from home. And like, she just moves everything in here. And she has her own bedroom. The, basically, the whole bottom floor of our house is hers because her room is the only bedroom on the first floor. Her office is actually in here in this our room. studio. Um, so she she'll pack up and she'll she'll move in uh, while we go travel but it's it's just hard to coordinate and um, we can't go on any vacations with her mom anymore yeah yeah so unless one of us stays home yeah so, and you had to stay home when y'all went, to, when new we went to new orleans yeah for her your mom's birthday yeah and like whenever you go to virginia um i i stay home mm -hmm. so it's just it, we can't be spontaneous either like if we want to go which i guess is okay for me spontaneity is not my forte but there's been times where like we've been at work all day long and there's an event Friday night well I'm not gonna leave my dogs they've been locked up locked up in their very own full-sized bedroom by the way all day long I'm not gonna come home let them out feed them and then put them back in their room so we can go out you know, to a concert or to an event um, Friday night so usually like we will plan things for Friday nights I'll take like a half a day off so I can come home and spend time with the dogs um, love on them, let them out, and let them be free before we go and do something that evening. So, because you know they're so cramped up in a full-size bedroom. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this entire month of videos and challenges and our collections and just all kinds of random stuff. But, what'd you think about our muck 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 bang?
Yeah, it wasn't really a mukbang because we only had like two bites of each cereal, but whatever. It's Halloween. It's a muck a muck a muck. It's come on. We had to. But there is one more thing we have to give you before we close the chapter on Vlogoween 2019. You. Me. Don't give me away. No. The letter U. Oh, that's right. So the very last letter of our 31 letter phrase is U. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out our video from October 1st. It'll explain everything about these secret letters that is in every single video this month. But I guarantee you, if you got this far and all you were waiting on was that one last letter, you already knew. You already knew. You already <laughs> knew what the last letter was. But also stay tuned for Sunday. We will be giving you all of the details for our month-long giveaway, how to enter, how long you have to enter, and showing you everything you're going to win. So be sure to check that out. Yeah, because you did all of this, watched all of this without even enter. knowing what you was going to win. Yeah. We just showed you the bag. <laughs> um, so um, for the last time, we will see you tomorrow because tomorrow is Fun Mail Friday, but that is a wrap. <laughs> you tired? Uh, I don't know. We're, I don't think we're going to do Vlogmas. We might. I do have some ideas actually brewing for Christmas. But we'll see. No promises. But we'll see you tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye.